random versus sequential I.O. Just so that you understand these concepts, uh, this may, might be really obvious, but just to be sure. Sequential I.O. is where we are accessing file offsets in series, whereas random I.O. is where we are accessing file offsets at random. Well, file systems do a lot of things to try and improve performance. And this does help us make a decision. If I'm doing a sequential workload, and if, if, if I'm accessing offset one, two, three, the file system can eventually get to the point where it can predict what your next I.O. will be before you've issued it. And that can be really useful because the file system can then do prefetch. And so many file systems do this. Another term for this is read ahead, where I issue one file, uh, file uh, IO to offset one or read to offset one. Then I do a read to offset two, and that might trigger a prefetch of the following offsets because it thinks this is starting to look like a sequential workload. I should read the next few items. Great. Uh, and that can improve performance because what you're doing is you're pre-warming up the cache before the application has requested it. You'll see me go back and you refer to these terms often and often, random and sequential, because these matter for the, de the type of storage device. And we'll talk about it more in the next chapter in disks. Obviously, uh, the, the rotational disks that we're familiar with they perform poorly with random I.O. workloads because the heads have to seek around and you're waiting on the platter rotation uh, latency. But just it, at this point, we just need to understand what the terms mean. Um, so prefetch is when we can be smart and we can uh, warm up the cache. In our platform in SmartOS, we have turned on ZFS prefetch. We had it turned off for uh, a while, uh, probably three years. And recently, I was working on a performance issue. We, the reason we turned it off was that a few years ago, it was felt that prefetch may have been too aggressive. And so one cloud tenant could pollute the arc by having it prefetch too much and then cause disk I.O. issues with other tenants. And recently, we took another look at it. And systems have changed since then. We have bigger arcs. We have different disks. And I took a look at it, and, and my recommendation was to turn it back on. Well, to turn it back on, and then there are tunable parameters so we can affect ZFS prefetch. And so Keith turned it on. Next platform update, ZFS prefetch returns. It's going to be great. And that, that can really improve the performance of customer sequential uh, file system workloads. It can make them four times faster. So that's prefetch. 